So let's go and look at this one. Now, when we're trying to draw an angle, um, this one can sometimes be confusing because you think, oh, theta equals pi halves. Um, but what did, what did it mean, pi halves? So again, sometimes you might want to think of this as 1 half of pi. right? So then we think to ourselves, well, do we know what the pi is in our radian form? And we say, well, if we have a circle, from here to here represents a distance of pi. So if I'm just looking for 1 half of that, that's going to be from there to there. right? So that's pi halves. So theta equals pi halves. There is my reference angle in standard form. Make sure, again, you're talking about direction. You're starting here, and you're rotating in the positive direction. And we're representing that with an arrow. Now, let's go and find our theta prime. Theta prime represents the reference angle. That is the acute angle between the terminal side and the x-axis. Here's the terminal side. Well, if I go to the left or go to the right, do I have an, an acute angle that is the distance between that side and the x-axis? No, guys. We already know this is 9 degrees. That's a right angle, right? Right angles are not acute. So there does not exist a coterminal angle, or I'm sorry, a reference angle. Okay? It has to be acute. Right? It has to be acute. 